That's George Barkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Sports superstitions. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your faith from, yeah, I never expected to learn about my faith from an LSU fan, and his trusty canine companion named, oops, missed, Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. And also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. I've got my LSU jersey on. Number seven is always their best player the, until this year, in which we'll be selling jerseys with the nine number on it. Um, and I want to talk to you just a little bit today about contradict um, superstitions. You're a sports fan. You're a, you play sports. I played softball. Still, I, I played baseball too. Don't step on the line as you go off the field. Do the same thing over and over again. If a shirt wins, keep wearing it. I may not have washed my jersey after the Alabama game, the LSU-Alabama game. Um, all of this, all these things that we do, It reminds me of my mother. We were watching an LSU game when I was growing up. It was an LSU baseball game. Ben McDonald was on the mound. College World Series against Stanford. I still remember the game. And it was over. It was uh, extra innings over time. It was extra innings. And my mother came in and, and LSU had scored three runs. And, and Stanford looked so sad. My mother goes, oh... I feel so sorry for them. Look how sad they look. And we all scream at her, get out, shut up. Walk, 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 home run. Stanford wins. Don't move from that seat. Don't say we've got the game won. All these different sports superstitions, and you know which ones I'm talking about. All of them violate the second commandment. They all do. They all violate the second commandment because they all communicate to the universe that we have some control over the game. We have some control by what we do over what's happening in the game. And... Our trust is in that superstition, whatever that superstition may be. And it's not in the suffering and death of Christ. Look, because of, the, because of Jesus, whether you, or your team wins or loses, everything is going to be okay. Because of Jesus, winning is going to be a gift and losing is going to be a gift. Because of Jesus, everything is in its proper perspective. And he's a good God. And a good God gives good gifts. And these good gifts save. So you don't have to come up with things. I have a friend who every game he watches for the Packers, his little Packer teddy bears got to be there. Okay. Okay. But that doesn't affect the game. Can't. That's, again, second commandment. So just understand with all of our traditions and superstitions that they don't work. They don't matter a hill of beans. If they calm you down a little bit, not having your jersey washed for you know, nine weeks. Okay. But they don't work. The one that works is your Lord Jesus. The one who saves is Christ. The one who is going to be for you if they win or be for you if they lose, Jesus. And he's always doing good. And this is a word of God for me too, because I'm the worst at it. Sports, superstitions, don't help. The only thing which saves, 
The only thing which helps is JC and him crucified for us. Delivered in his word, delivered in the water, delivered in his body and blood. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Look at the jersey of the national champions, LSU Tigers. And this has been a Higher Things video short. <laughs>